Um, yeah, that's absolutely um, that's absolutely correct, and I, um, I feel the brother's pain. You understand what I'm saying? We're talking about my son here. Um, I was just watching the brother's IG, and I feel um, the brother's pain. Uh, but one thing the brother has to realize is that he knew this before he even stepped into this arena. You understand what I mean? People speak about Malcolm uh, dying broke, Martin uh, dying uh, broke. You got to remember, these dudes had different mind states. You understand what I mean? And um, to answer one of my son's questions, should brothers be teaching and die broke? Of course not, especially if they're spending their money within this struggle. But if you're just on IG, you're on YouTube, and you're just floating around within circles, and you're fighting for your peoples, then that's what it is. I mean, you know, we appreciate you. Um, but, you know, people have to know what to expect when they step into this arena. You're speaking to a poor people. A lot of the people that you're speaking to have no money to give you. If they give you money, then they have none, right? So, um, and I'm not speaking about my son right now, but I see a lot of people jump on IG, jump on Facebook with the donations, and they speak something very similar as if they're trying to scare the people. Um, like they say things like, look, I could be getting top dollar speaking to these crackers or speaking to these Europeans. I could get top dollar, but I'm over here with my peoples. I mean, so what are you really saying? Are you putting out an indirect threat that if you guys don't uh, pull up with some money soon, that I'm going to go over here to these Europeans? I, you know what I mean? Certain things you just keep to yourself. Even if you do feel like that in your mind and in your heart, you keep it to yourself. You, you know what I mean? You keep it to yourself because after a while, people start... Um, to pay attention uh, to what a person's saying. And then they see, of course, you got children, you got a family, then maybe you should pick a different profession or maybe you should do, do this um, on your leisure time, you know, things of that nature. Maybe not make it a full-time job of trying to save everyone and save the whole world or even save everyone in black or low-income neighborhoods. It's something that might be impossible unless you got a few other people with you or you have a crew with you but yes it's, it's going to be um some stormy days there's going to be some broke days when you're in this struggle you got to remember you're dealing with a struggling people you're dealing with a hurt people you're dealing with a broke people you have to vibrate on that frequency so to a brother like my son it's going to come i'm pretty sure people are hitting up the cash app they're donating they're probably just not, not donating enough but brother my son you're out here doing the work majorly it's gonna come you know what i'm saying don't even worry about that it's gonna come brother